All right, you guys, how's it going? I've been sick as a dog here the last couple of weeks, and my voice is about gone. But hopefully you can understand me. I'm out here working on an old ream. This thing is old as the hills, and when I got here, I was only like at, what was I, like 40 PSI outside on R22. So we're pretty darn low. I haven't even gassed it up yet. I've got a new toy that I've been playing with over the last couple of weeks, and it's a ultrasonic leak detector, an AccuTrack. That's the only one to get. This tool is absolutely amazing. I was astounded from the very first time I used this thing. It's like it just points the leak out. You know, in 30 seconds, you found it. There's no more spending 30, 45 minutes trying to sniff out a leak. This thing just takes you right to it. It's, it's amazing. And I've already found quite a few, and this is the first time I've used it you know without pressurizing the system either getting it back up where it needed to be with refrigerant or pressurizing with nitrogen so I was just curious if it would find it on one this low you know a lot of times a sniffer will have a problem when you're down there this low on pressure uh, it makes it really hard to find a leak and there was nothing really standing out in here other than you know right around the orifice right there we had a little bit of greening right there, but there's not a leak there. And to really appreciate how this thing works, I'm going to have to buy a little speaker to hook up to it because, of course, I've got my earbuds in. So all you're going to be able to see is the LEDs going up and down, which, you know, it, it just doesn't give the full effect. I'm actually hearing the leak inside of my earbuds, and it's just plain as day. This thing doesn't pick up background noise or anything. It just only picks up the sound of the leak. It's a very specific frequency range that it's looking for. So anyway, as I came in here, I went around all the typical places down at the feeder tube connections. I went all along the bottom. Didn't really come up with anything. Went up to the orifice. Didn't come up with anything there. But then as I went up and down all my U-bends, I just went up and down all the way. I came across here, and if you watch the LED, when I get up here to this one, you'll see this. So, I'll see if I can get this on camera. We might be better without the flashlight. Let's just try it like this. It actually might show up a little bit better. So here we are, and right now I can already start hearing it in my ear. And as I get up here to this U bin, you see the LED going up there? It's actually on the lower side of that U bin right there. If I move up, it sort of dissipates but it's right down there on the bottom. And I mean, it just, it picks it up like nobody's business. I'm curious how well my sniffer would do to sniff that thing out. I might pause the video, go grab that and some soap bowls and come back. Uh, but I'm telling you guys, I'm going to try to do some more videos on this thing. I'm going to get some kind of a little speaker that I can hook up to it so you can actually hear the leak like I can hear it and this is an amazing tool this is going to save you time and money out in the field and you know like I said it it, it just only picks up the sound of the leak I was working on an outdoor unit that was right near an interstate and you know there's cars and 18 wheelers driving by I didn't hear any of that all I hear is the sound of the leak because it's actually looking for the sound of turbulence, you know, air that's coming through an orifice, whether that's a, a pinhole, a crack, a loose compression fitting, like around a TXV or an orifice. It's listening for the sound of that rushing, escaping air. And it can be refrigerant, nitrogen, gas. You could find gas leaks, natural propane, whatever. It's just looking for the sound of the gas. There's no sensors to replace. Now, granted, these things aren't cheap, but, you know, once you bought it, 
you're never going to have to do any upkeep or maintenance, no sensors, nothing like that. So I'm really excited about all the possibilities with this thing. And so far it's worked amazing. Uh, but let me just pause the video and I'll grab some soap bubbles and stuff. I'll be right back.